I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I keep thinking of people who played, like, Marvel movies that I would go gay for. Um, Actually, at one point, that. at one point, there's, like, okay, so I'm playing this up in a more comedic sense, but, like, I've already shown a picture of it in the Discord chat. Um, somebody had a very cute picture. It's a piece of fan art. It's not really specifying a celebrity because, obviously, it's a cartoon character, but um, uh, there was a picture of shining armor in a bunny outfit, and I'm like... Oh my god, he'll look so much better in it than I, anybody would give him credit for. Golden, do you think Shining Armor armor is kind of a himbo? Uh, <laughs> yes and no. Would you go gay for Shining Armor? That's the real question here. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Cadence is gonna fucking kill you, dude. Cadence is gonna murder you. I mean, I wouldn't do anything. You, you're right. You wouldn't do anything. He would be the one doing all the things. Well, if, you catch my no, if anything, like, if, it, if that's his decision, then yeah, she would have the right to do something to him. Okay. Like, if he's trying to hit on me, it's like, uh, buddy, you're married. I don't think we can do this. And he, he doesn't hold back. Like, uh, okay, I'm just letting you know you're paying the ultimate price here. <laughs> It's, it's like I, I, I didn't I didn't hear a fingers. no, Mr. Golden Fox. Mr. Golden. That that's how shining armor flirts with golden. It's just like, is that a no? That doesn't sound like a no. Does it sounds like a maybe <laughs> and a half. Yeah, that sounds like a maybe. <laughs> this could be a part of your new cinematic universe, whatever you guys do. I just call it your cinematic universe, because goddamn, you might as well have a movie route right now. Dude, this David. Called Golden's... Yeah. Hang on, David. To answer your question about who else, like, to, if there's anybody who would want Big Mac, it's fucking Ellie. What? Why, you know why they what? call him Big Mac, right? I'm no, I'm not. Even, don't you dare finish <laughs> that question. Shame on you. Shame on you. What? I'm just assuming that she likes Not you. I was talking I was talking to Wolfhead. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, no, I was I was talking to Wolfhead. Oh, Dude, man. man, this chat got weird. Oh. Yeah, it did. If it's making you uncomfortable, really we'll change the subject. Yeah. You're gonna have to ask Barry Punch about that. I mean, not Barry Punch. Who the who the fuck was that broad that he married? I don't know. She was some bitch. That's all she I know. She was definitely some bitch. Are you talking about? You know what um, I'm being mean. I you... don't know what kind of whole bag he ended up marrying. But Are you talking like, about Sugar Bell? Was... I don't Sugar know Bell, who yeah. the hell he married, but like there was a bitch, and she got she got drugged by. She is not a bitch, and she didn't get drugged. She's one of the sweetest characters in the show. Well, I remember there was this bitch, and she was a whole bag, and she had, like, three little whole bags, so fucking decided to go and drug her, and then the drug Big Mac, what? and then those two what got together, and they were right mad, now? horny for each other, and then all of a sudden, they're like, nah, B, we can't do this, but then they're like, no, how do we know if they're faking it or not, and I'm like, okay. Are you having an, a, a, a delusional fit right now? I don't even know who or what you're talking about. I'm there confused was an as hell. Of my little yeah, go ahead. There was an episode. I vividly remember My Little Pony. There was this bitch. Purple bitch. She had a flower on her ass. She was like the 80s bitch. And then she was like, yo, uh, there I have nobody for Valentine's Day. And then these three... Oh, were, you're talking about oh, Hearts yeah. and Who's Day. Yeah, yeah the, the Cutie Mark Crusaders cool. the Cutie Mark Crusaders were trying to get Big Mac to be with her. Because, <laughs> oh, we gotta help her get a special sun pony because we have to go by the holiday traditions. Yeah, that bit them quite by a, like quite hard in the ass because they put together a quote unquote potion, which was a poison, where it literally hypnotizes them into loving each other nonstop. Yeah, that bitch bag. Miss Charlie. I don't. What's wrong hard. with Charlie? 
I just, no, okay, so I use like hoe bag and bitch bag and bitch as like simultaneous words if I can't remember what a person is or who, who like, if I remember features will be like, oh, this brown, like, like this, like, purple bitch bag. Like, the, I just, re I can't remember names. I'm very good at faces. I can't remember names unless I constantly interact with you. If there's anybody the who deserves to be called a bitch bag or, well, in this case, it's a fucking brat, it's lickety split. Listen, What's wrong with lickety split? Yeah, I've, I've already, already I've already, I've already explained it to you. I already explained it to you. Chat, tell me what Golden's gripe is with lick of the split. This is a As I slur my words like I've had like, Damn like it. I've drunk like three glasses of alcohol. You're fine, don't worry. Lickety Split comes walking down the hallway. This is golden. No! God, please, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, well, what else jokes can I do? Um, Has some of you guys in the chat not realized Golden 17th Curse? Okay, the 17th Curse broke with um, Brother of Social. Yeah, that's the one where Big Mac real like literally dressed himself in heels and a skirt. I like that episode. Though. I do too. It was a heartfelt episode. Also, that old guy at the at the competition, that old judge, he was into it. The old pony. <laughs> Kitty, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Playing an old clip of some no, kind. No, one page sent, it, sent me something really funny, and I'm just like laughing at it. Oh my god, I love it. No, Wubke just sent me something, and I'm just, like, laughing at it. She sent me a cursed deleted scene. <laughs> Spongebob. Blue Griffin, Spoiled Rich is a fucking plot device. I can't call her a character. Wait, who? What's the matter? You don't like Spoiled Rich's uh, upturned nose and her great and terrific what personality? What about She... Oh, no, my she is a plot device. She's not a character. She's Wait, a plot device. About the blue pony bitch bag that ends up like opening up like. No, we're own. talking about Diamond Tiara's mother because apparently the writers decided to redeem her character five years in the making when she was made static. Oh, you see, for some odd reason, I just thought it was the blue horn bitch bag that ended up opening up like Forever Twenty One with Rarity up in like um, New York City. That's Sassy Saddles. No, that's not Sassy. I don't remember her fucking name. No, that was, uh, it started with an S, but it wasn't Sassy Saddles. It's, okay, that's Coco well, Pomol p p p p p p to put put something. It's okay, very tricky know. to pronounce. It's like Sierra something. I don't know who, like, Coco Chanel is, but, uh, either which way. Well, I know who she is, but in pony form, I don't remember her name. Sprinkle Dust, whatever her album's name is. Golden, golden be like, uh, 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 spoiled rich as a plot device. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here going, I'm gonna touch her plot device. Hey, oh, fucking got him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't you like Wait. the way I describe my little pony? I think I do. Siri Polomer, that's what her name was. Thank you, Blue Griffin. What? What was her name? Fucking Velazepan? Siri <laughs> Polomer. It's in the chat. Cherry from Siri S U R I Polo Mare. I have dyslexia, so I can't. <laughs> you can. Okay, you can still read, can't you? I know. I'm just making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dyslexia is having problems like spelling and writing. No, it actually goes into reading too. Sometimes I'll read things. I. I it's really weird with me. Because sometimes I, yeah, I have spelling and writing, but sometimes I'll read things backwards, and I will also sometimes, um, I can read sometimes backwards and upside down. And, uh, other days I can, I will mix things up backwards. So, it, it's a wonderful, uh, blurs, I call it. Blurs. Wow. God, I've hardly done shit with Dire Dire Docs, so let's go ahead and Go to that. Dire Dire Docs, you mad lad. Yeah. Wait, are we... Wait, you're gonna go to Ara Ara Land? What? Oh, He's gonna go oh, to Ara Ara. Oh, O'Reilly oh, Auto Parts. Ow! 
I'm surprised that plays out in your neck of the woods. I thought that was only a northeastern thing. No, nope, there was a pre-roll lab that would play. Like, that's like the only time I would ever legitimately enjoy, like, a pre-roll lab. Other times it's like, oh, this, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, you're not a dish. You're a man. Fuck that guy hard. He's obnoxious. I would miss the old Spice commercials. Those were my favorite. Those were funny. Those had charm. Look at your Those. man. Now look back to me. Now look at your man. Now back to me. You're riding a pony in the suburban Sierra, whatever the fuck. Anyway, get get old Spice. I'm handsome. I love old I, I legit love the smell of Old Spice. It's really sexy for me, so like I I will take my um, husband's like deodorant and sometimes smell it because it's like it smells like a man to me. And I oh I it like damn man. it! Golden buys Old Spice for the first time, and then like he is like, "Ooh, you smell good." And then she's she's like, <laughs> "Wait, I'm trying to how can I do this without without making it sound weird." She she's like, oh, you smell good, but she doesn't she she doesn't get off him. She's just like, like she keeps <laughs> she's sniffing him to the point where he's very I'll uncomfortable. I'll just huff him. Well, I'm just gonna huff you here, man. Don't worry. I would just be like, babe, you have a problem. You need to go to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm high on that golden drug. Get no, over here. No, 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 no. Come on. You got <clears throat> that golden dust right there the best of the call a golden box as well got any more of that golden dust for me baby and he's just like what's wrong with you go to get out of here i gotta get someone to my i gotta get my fix man i gotta get my my phoenix horse fix. i gotta get my phoenix horse fix <laughs> oh my my husband got weed i don't know how the fuck he got weed but he got weed i was like brought me home from the gym after work i was like i'm gonna go to the gym for an hour he came to get me and i'm like why the hell do you have weed in the car dear and he's like oh i got it from somebody uh he did me a favor and i got this and i was like ah okay he got it from golden standing on the side of the road going hey you want yeah, some old spice just... that's not the old spice i'm talking about yeah he was just living in upstate he was in upstate new york and he was like yeah i'm just gonna slide in my dms as golden like falls into the whirlpool for the like fifth time it wasn't the fifth time, it was the second time. It was like the seventh time you fell. Fuck in. you. Yeah, you fell in that whirlpool like ten goddamn times. <laughs> the number keeps getting higher and higher. Alright. Go, go, go. Jesus. Run, God damn run it. This, run around. Just turning this car around. Ugh. Nope, 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 no, no. Come on, go, go swim. I've never heard a man grunt so like focus. You should hear him play video games more often. Apparently. No, like no, like no, no, no. It's like Are the dude trying drowning? to figure out the Millennium Puzzle. Shit! Ah, damn it! Wah, wah, baby pharaoh wand milk. Somebody fetch me a nipple. Retro Gamer Kevin just gave me a great idea, but I feel like that's only a joke I can do whenever I'm in Golden Stream. Where I can play the Sonic Drowning music every time you- Don't you Sonic fucking Ball dare! Ball. Don't you fucking dare! I already got pissed at Misty for that shit. Oh no, well... And that is the, I don't know, 47th time he fell in the whirlpool. I okay. didn't fall in the whirlpool 47 <laughs> times. <laughs> Chad, are we keeping score? I guess so. Every time Golden gets closer to the whirlpool. No! God, please, no! No! <laughs> He goes in the whirlpool anyway. Oh well, there go my ears. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought that wasn't too loud. I almost, like, jumped out of my skin hearing that. Like, oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm not it's trying like, to give you a heart attack. It's just all of a sudden, it's like... Dun, 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 
Done. I'm not on the good mic. I'm not on the good mic. Ah. <laughs> I'm not on the good mic, Chuck. Yeah, it's okay. I want to give my personal apologies for that. If it really did upset you. Oh God! No! 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 Come on, swim! Literally playing like a fucking. Like no! Come on! This is perfect background music for when Gold is trying to no, avoid no, no, no. A, a whirlpool that is in the middle of the level. <laughs> Just the open up the fucking the chest already! Like, yeah, get sucked in. You know what? Come here, Golden can't open the chest. <sighs> He just won't open it! <laughs> Are you having fun with that organ sound? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm having loads of fun here. I'm just gonna slide it over into uh, Banana Boat's uh, DMs. Okay. Go, 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 go! Swim! Oh! Not gonna lie, that was a that was appropriately played because that moment was intense. Well, Mario gets sucked into the whirlpool while I'm here. That organ sound. That that what is it like a ha There's a name for it. It's like organ. it's it's like an opera stinger sound. It, it's uh it I, it's basically from the era of radio plays. I when I was younger, I used to listen to this one CD. And it was old radio plays. It had Superman. It had two more. But one of them I loved was my favorite was Ar the Archies with the television set. And it was so fucking funny. And I still remember it to this day. And I love, and I found it on YouTube and I love it so much. And it comes from that era. So I got, I, I really love, uh, when I was younger, I loved listening to the radio a lot. So I watched, like, listen to a lot of radio shows and such. But I recommend listening to the Archies, the television set radio. It was made in 1949. Oh, a television set! Oh my god! Big, big hit on the, uh, on the street. You had Another television set, you were great. Another goddamn water level. Listen, this Zelda it's Better than a level. bottomless pit. Do I have any voice changer stuff in here? I do. What's the passion pit? Oh no, that's just... That's Sounds like somebody was drowning. No, that was just rave music. I'm just like looking around. Kind of interesting. Oh, <laughs> fantasy, heart one, draw. That's a sweet inspiration. Oh boy, what is this? This like candy uh, music. Uh... Uh, golden fox, wolfhead, and kitty. What seafood do you like the most? Shrimp. The kind of seafood that's not seafood. I eat. <laughs> I actually um, I eat raw salmon, like straight up. I eat raw like salmon. Like straight out of the river, like you're like a bear, <laughs> like you just you just you just snatch Look, it up out from its family. No, I I'm not a heathen heathen. I go down to my local weggies and I go and get it because I'm a bougie bitch. And I just okay. take it out of there and I eat it or I cook it. Um, I I eat a lot of seafood. Like, a lot of it. So I don't really have a favorite. What is your favorite? I think Golden said shrimp. Oh, you're asking uh, me? Yeah, shrimp, yeah and, shrimp and salmon. Oh, do you like to eat it raw? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you serious? You're missing a whole fucking world! It's Do great. I look like I want to risk getting myself salmonella? Honey, I, I've been eating it. I haven't gotten salmonella yet. Yes, being the key word. It's okay. I'll die at 40, but that's alright. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like... So, I saw the, uh, I finally saw Batman Returns recently, and Danny DeVito's character, the Penguin, was literally eating a rotten fi- like, not rotten, a raw fish, like a caught fish. I couldn't eat it like that. I eat it, like, where it's, like, homegrown, and it's, like, in a plastic, uh, can- you know, in the sealed wrap and everything. 
Could you imagine how bad his breath would smell just eating off of that raw fish? I couldn't do like like that. Like I don't go out into the fucking woods and you know be strong like be strong like bears in the forest. I I just I go to the local Weggies and I get it. You guys know what Weggies is or no? Probably I'm gonna not. I'm going to ask you what the, what the what the hell is a Weggie because that sounds oh, like something that you put on your body. <laughs> no, it's Wegmans. Wegmans is a, is a very bougie grocery store. Uh It's like, We're "Hold on, baby, I got to put on my Weggings." We gotta go to my Weggies. Did that that reminds me of that opening segment of um, what is it called? My Big Fat Greek Wedding, and uh, the main character is like she's telling her uh, her young story. Mm -hmm. uh, and for lunch, they're like, "What are you having?" And she said, "It's moussaka, moussaka." <laughs> oh my god! Damn it! Every time I, I hear Weggies, I think of um, the... I don't know if there's a proper term for it, but I call it the uwu words, like, where you put, like, W's in words. Like, like it is, like, uwu speak? Yeah, like... Damn it! Oh, hello! How are you? Oh, my goodness, yes! Senpai! Uh, that's Senpai as far as I'm gonna didn't take notice that. me, Tway, but I'm ready. Please stop. <laughs> oh, perks of being a voice actress. You're too good at that. You're so good at it that it made Golden uncomfortable. That's the bar. If you can make Golden uncomfortable with your voice acting, you've made it in Hollywood. I, I haven't made it in Hollywood yet. I'm waiting for my um, close-up on camera, darling. You, you're waiting for them to get in touch with you to email you back? Well, like, I'm going to make you a star. It's really funny that you say that because, like, um, so I have a cousin, and he made a movie. I think it's, like, called 645 or 644. It's a horror movie. Um, I don't know much about the plot, but what I do know is that uh, one of the guys who owns... Um, Regal Cinemas ended up screening and he had a whole premiere of it and everything. Mm. So. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. That's kind of that's kind of neat. Did not know that. Mm -hmm. My my older brother went to one of his premieres and he showed me photos and shit. I was like, oh, this he sounds fun. I don't know who now the fuck opening. Is now premiering at a gas station near you. Wait, no. Now premiering <laughs> at a gas station alley near you. It's whatever the fuck the movie. Starring this jackass. And this tool. And shit face down the road. Alright, enjoy the f enjoy the theater. Yeah. If you if you I would never watch a movie in a gas station alleyway. No, that's just like snuff film material. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's where homeless people piss. <clears throat> that's asking for somebody to point a gun at you. Or get mugged in yeah. like at like 2 in the morning. That's why you don't go down dark places. Without a flashlight. No, you just don't go down without a flashlight or a knife. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself. Otherwise, that's what happens to Bruce Wayne's parents. Listen, that was very traumatic for him. Poor man. I feel bad. This is Bruce Wayne when his parents got shot. Um, excuse me. Uh, can you not do that? I'm just a child. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now, and this is gonna develop into a, um... It's gonna turn me into one of the world's most problematic supervillains. I mean, superheroes. But I'm not actually a superhero because I don't have any superpowers. I'm just a dude that's really sad because his parents got murdered in an unjustful way. And he's just a detective, technically. Yep. He's a he's a detective that beats the shit out of them. Beats them within an inch of their life. And yeah. Like, I did a good thing. No, I still love the um the uh, the trailer for the Batman. It's like, who the fuck are you supposed to be? <laughs> I'm vengeance. <laughs> That's all it needs to be said. <laughs> oh my god. Just beats the shit out of him and then answers. 